Let's play some Black Shades. And when I say some, I mean I'll play the whole game. It's a short freeware game made by Wolfar Studio. Or Wolfar something. I'm not so sure it's studio. Anyway, let's play. You're a guy. And you guard this VIP. So says the manual. And apparently this VIP is so confident in you that he'll just walk around while random gunmen point his head point guns quite blatantly at him. Your job is to do that. Oh dear. I actually allowed and he died. My bad. That's what they get. Yeah, the objective of the game is to guard this guy from death until the timer on the top left corner runs out. Gets with guns will... Ooh, that rhymes. We'll charge at him and aim at him, and he of course don't care. Your job is to care, of course. The controls are pretty simple. Move around, shoot. Uh, yeah. You can also... There's also quite a few options, like this bullet time. Oops, wrong button. Which ends when he fires a bullet. When you fires a bullet. Yes, correct English. And people's heads disappear. This is, after all, cutting edge graphics. I mean, look at the high poly count in this game. It's just enormous. And if you just saw that, sometimes your enemies tend to disappear on you, which annoys me to heck when that happens. Oh, you advanced the stage. And now we have a handgun instead of a assault rifle. It works pretty much the same way. Shoot, kill. Well, of course, don't shoot the civilians though. You lose points for that. Observe. 300. And he died. Why did he die? Hmm. I'm thinking it's because of knives. Knife people. Which are the most annoying. And he just disappeared. So lesson? Shoot them as fast as possible. Yeah. I'm abusing slow-mo there. You can pretty much just spam it. And be careful. Even if the knife guys just fall on top of your VIP, he's dead. No option for for uh, targeting. No. Whoops! I think I might have shot him. Whoops! I just lost practically all my points. Not that I'm working towards a high score. Yeah, night would tend to be the most annoying in this game. Don't let them get close. It's pretty easy to like distinguish between non-gun folk and those trying to kill him because they'll just run straight for him. Oh yeah, and shift is run, pull down shift run. And for some reason they didn't seem to care anymore. Except for him. But he disappeared. But no matter. I think I shot him. Damn it, he was the decoy. He used me. That smart guy with a gun. He was the decoy. He distracted me while two knife men ambushed him from the front.
Oh yeah. And by the way, anyone who walks in the middle of the road is definitely an enemy. Because civ normal civilians never walk in the middle of the road. And be careful. You saw how that knife guy was walking normally in the middle of the road, right? Great. Sometimes do that to more effect. As in walk on the pavement towards him with the knife. So don't always this don't always think just kill all the running people. They will have walking gits with knives. And we're finally done. Jeez. This stage took longer than I anticipated. Just running back and forth just because I feel like it. I can't actually walk through the buildings. And his sniper rifle. <sighs> I have no idea how to zoom. Or is it I don't really care to zoom? I'd rather just walk up to everybody and shoot them in the head. Which I find is very effective. Oops. Oh, and this is like psychic vision or something. It turns the whole city into a mess. Weird color. I should have pierced through, shouldn't it? Whoops! <laughs> and just as I said it, it did. And it killed a civilian. My bad. Wow! That's a whole brigade of snipers. Oh, there we go. That was good. What I did there was actually I wrestled the weapon off him. Which you can do by full pressing Q and... I mean, normally you shoot, but if you press Q and your weapon goes like this, you will, you will wrestle the weapon off them. It's useful in some stages where you want a better weapon. And this is the zombie stage. Obviously, the VIP thinking it would be safe at night. And when the sky is ominously red, decides to take a walk across the streets. And of course, what else would there be to greet them other than freaking zombies? The best technique for zombies is to just melee them. I mean it. But they can't die. Just go run up to every single zombie that approaches and meet it. Yes, they make funny noise when they fall on uneven ground. Oh no, you don't. This is working quite well. Obviously, don't meal your PFP because you'll die. And he wins. Whew. And we have hand grenades. Where are they? Hand grenades. They're quite lousy actually. Come on! I wonder whether the grenades can kill me, but I don't really want to know. Okay, they do. <laughs> My bad. I mean, your guy is off. I mean, this guy right here is obviously a psychic. It. What? He's quite alive. Don't worry about it. Anyway, yeah. In the manual, it says this guy's like psychic, so that's why you can see like, those weird lines and get bullet time and all that sort of jazz. Yep, but I'm 
I'm doing right now is just slowing down and shooting people in the head. That's honestly the best way to do this. The annoying thing, you can't get out of slow mode once you start it. You don't press it too often. And now it's not only rainy and actually there are no zombies. But you say we have a knife, right? which in my opinion is pretty awesome. I would actually go to the best weapon in the game. Not saying that it isn't quite a short game. Okay. Which is good. You have a player with you if you're going. Slow mo night. Okay, this is not exactly what you can say. See what I mean by disappearing bones? No! Gosh, no! Can I reach him? Oh, he missed him. Oh my goodness. Don't shoot! Isn't that cool? They're corpses. That was just me slicing a civilian. And it's night time again. Thankfully there are no dogs just disappearing gunsmen. They're using their invisibility powers against me. Use my slow Oh man! You saw that? That VIP was so stupid. I mean, seriously, having confidence in your guard is one thing, but if I have enough confidence such that when there's a Gunsman aiming point blank at you and you just don't care and you see you walk like an idiot. That is just stupid. <sighs> Look at those two. Their geometries melt together. And so their heads came up together. Ha <laughs> ha. Heck. See? Look at that. Sneaky knife boy. And this is taking longer than I expected. I was hoping it would just be one video, but it might end up to be just two. Get off it. I wonder what all these alleyways were for. Okay, we're going through knife inspection now. You don't have knife, you don't have knife, you have knife. Oh yes! I completely forgot to introduce you. Hmm, thought he died at that point. Get crap on me. You don't have knife. Another mechanism you can do diving. You can like run and press space. Then you'll dive in. Which knocks him down and doesn't kill him. Which is quite funny sometimes because he sometimes disappears to buildings. Honestly, just me need him. Don't bother shoot. And I'm not gonna dive at him right now. What? Now oh, he got eaten by a zombie. Okay. We'll stop the video here. Later.